Then Peter came to him and asked, Lord, how often should I forgive someone who sins against me? Seven times? No, not seven times, Jesus replied, but 70 times seven. We get the impression here that Peter thought that forgiving seven times was being very holy. But then Jesus astounds Peter by his answer, 70 times seven. To explain, Jesus goes on to tell the parable of the unforgiving servant to show that we always owe more to God than we can ever repay and that we must look at other people's sins against us in the light of the messes we make so that we may have compassion on others. Jesus worked always in his Father's timing. He forgave people because he knew that God was working something bigger in his life. Sometimes we get so caught up in our petty grievances against people that we focus on how other people have hurt us instead of focusing on our Father's love for us and his much wider plan. We can harbour unforgiveness like a pet. We can feed it and nurture it. Let go of that bitterness. Forgive. That's what Jesus calls us to. Forgiveness is important to God, as we see in the Lord's Prayer, where Jesus tells his disciples to pray, Forgive us our sins, as we have forgiven those who sin against us. Forgiveness does not mean that we keep going back into situations of abuse. If you need help with this, talk to a good counsellor. Finally, if you are struggling to forgive, and my words are just passing over your head, can I recommend an excellent book to help you? The Book of Forgiving by Desmond and M. Tutu. This book was a tremendous help to me when I had to forgive some very big things. God bless you.